Hey guys, in this episode I'm going to show you how to do manual mode photography. Hey guys, welcome to Kelvin Designs. My name is Kelvin and Design, and that's why it's called Kelvin Designs. Click down here to subscribe to my YouTube channel and get all these episodes as they come out. And click up here to the source files to get the files for this episode and every other tutorial that I do for free. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to use the M or manual mode on your camera instead of the automatic. This is a really short crash course to just get you started because you'll see that when you retouch your photos using the manual mode, you have a much more possibility than using the automatic. So let me show you. The first thing we're going to do is on your camera, go from A to M, or in some cases it's written auto or manual. So just change that on here and uh, you'll see you have basically three settings that you really have to look for. If you're doing portraits, the first thing we're gonna look at is the f-stop, all right? And that is basically how big the uh, lens is open or closed. The, close, the more closed it is, the more everything will be sharp, all right? Think of it like if you look through a pinhole and you look through, everything is dark but very sharp. And if it's very wide, something that's very close is gonna be very sharp and everything else is very blurry. So when you do portraits and you want that nice bouquet behind you, open it up as much as your lens will let you. All right, so that's what I did here. And in this case, uh, we've got a 1 85, 1.5. So that's, uh, we're gonna be open to 1.5. And the next thing you're gonna do is the sensor, which is ISO, all right? The ISO basically is how sensitive your sensor is. Back in the day it was film, how sensitive your film was. And the most common sort of outdoors film that we used was 200. 200 ISO up to maybe four, four or 500. Because it's digital, you can change it on the fly. You don't have to change your film. So it's nice, between every photo, you can actually adjust your ISO. But a good starting point is 200. So keep that in mind. So here I'm gonna set it to 200 ISO. All right, the third thing uh, that I adjust, and this is what I adjust the most on the fly, is the speed. Now the speed um, is how fast the shutter closes and opens, all right? Or opens and closes, rather. And what that means is it's, let's say, one one hundredth of a second. That's how fast it opens and closes. And um, the faster it is, the less light comes in, so it's darker, and the slower it is, the more light comes in, all right? So depending on the environment. And most cameras have a little sensor, and if you look over here in the screen, you'll see there's a little, there's a little plus and minus, and it goes left to right to show you if you're underexposed or overexposed, all right? As a general rule, it's safer to be underexposed than overexposed because overexposed means you got blown out pixels which you just can't recover. Whereas if you're underexposed, you got um, a lot of pixels within those uh, dark pixels that you can lighten up and that you can still save. So try to just stay um, maybe half or three quarters of an f-stop underexposed. That's a good frame of uh, reference. Um, all right, so we're gonna change the speed here and I will adjust it based on what I see and what the sensor tells me, all right? So here we go, I'm gonna take a couple shots. All right, and all right, another thing is, when you're doing, uh, this has nothing to do with manual mode photography, but just a little tip, when you're doing portrait photography, it's good to keep a conversation kind of going with your model or your subject, because otherwise it be your shoot ends up being a little stoic, a little lacking of life. So just talk, have a, con have a continuous conversation and you'll see that your photos actually turn out a little nicer. All right, so these three um, are your basic and this is how you start. You're gonna make some mistakes and that's totally fine. Try and just practice it. You're gonna, you might miss some photos, but in the end, the more you practice this, it's such an easy concept once you apply it that you'll see the results immediately. Also, if you download the files for this uh, episode, you'll get a little cheat sheet that um, we prepared for you that shows you the, the differences of high and low for the three, the aperture, the ISO, and the shutter speed. All right, and, and here are some of the afters from the shoot, which you can see here. And I'm pretty happy with this shoot. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, remember to like it, leave a comment, share it. It really helps me out, and I'll see you in the next episode.